I'm a It's a bad man thing Alright loves, welcome back to the channel with the Wasteland here and as you can tell this is going to be a little bit different from the norm. So a few of you have reached out, this is a highly requested video for another get ready with me or makeup tutorial. So today I'm going to be doing just a really simple holiday look featuring the wig Solana by Sensationelle. So definitely give this video a thumbs up if you are interested in more videos like this. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. All the information details for the products that I use will be listed below. Let me apologize for my little fur babies in the background. Your girl has been very under the weather with something close to the flu, kind of the flu. And they have been very, very clingy lately. And as always, just remember, I am somewhat of a rookie when it comes to this makeup. So I do what works best for me. Some of the techniques I do use, I know they may seem a little unorthodox. Whatever. It is what it is. <laughs> As much as I love using this color corrector and this concealer on my eyes, I'm actually looking for something that's a little bit more, I guess on the white side so I can get a better pigment. So let me know what you use down below. I definitely love to hear your thoughts and definitely get some ideas for the future. This always happens with my eyes. One eye is a little bit more hooded than the other. So naturally, one eye always gives me such a big pain. <laughs> so I would love to know if you are ever get caught doing your makeup or if you have a side that you tend to favor more than the other, <laughs> let me know in the comments down below. I haven't mastered the whole concealer under the eye thing. <laughs> so for the meantime, I just use two separate foundations. One is a little bit lighter that, of course, I use under my eye. I do also mix my foundations. So I do use Mocha and Walnut. Both are by NYX. Um, they're Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation line. 
So now on to this review. Miss Solana has two combs in the front, one in the back with adjustable straps. Here you just see me showing you that scalp section, baby. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the lace off of this unit. And at the last minute, I did decide to glue this wig down. And of course, I'll go into all of that later. So I'm going to let most of this play out and then of course I'll come back with my final thoughts. This is part of their Cloud 9 line. And she is a hairline illusion lace wig. So on the stock card, they do claim that this has a natural density that is very true to form. And she's also heat safe 350 degrees to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, Miss Solana is in which the is color a Flamboyage very gold. beautiful combination of like a four and you have like maybe a little bit of a 27 got some kind of copper highlights in here it's a really they do really say that this is a hair color. illusion lace wig so it's supposed to give you the realistic look of a natural hairline and let me tell you the hairline on this is actually really, really As you guys saw good. in the footage, I did at the last minute decide to glue this wig down. If you are new to wigs or you're not familiar with how to glue down your wig, I do not suggest Solana. This unit, I do not see it looking natural without you having to glue it down. Now, this may be just my personal experience. If someone else is able to do this without gluing it, more power to you. On here, this is more of a silky texture and I am getting a lot of tangles. And you know what? <laughs> I don't think Sense HNL is gonna be happy with this review. On the stock card model, it looks way fuller and this actually looks like more of a yakky texture. 
texture which is what originally drew me to this wig you guys know i love love high density big hair and this is just not hit this is definitely like i said more silky and i'm just not i'm not feeling i'm not it I'm is not thin in my opinion in, and I'm actually running my hands towards the back and it does feel like I can actually feel like some of the tracks underneath just a love layer the hairline. of hairline. Absolutely love the hairline. I love the color on here, but I really think Sensational missed the mark with this texture. I wish they would come back and just make this a little bit more of a thicker, yakky texture. I think it would hit it out of the ball part. If you guys are interested in checking out the wig or purchasing, then definitely check out samsbeauty.com. Their information will be in the description box down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the channel, girl. Let me know that you are here. And ladies, you know what I say. Make sure you wear it with confidence. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one.